handcuffs, duct tape, zip ties. Nothing can contain you! This episode of Scam School brought to you by Netflix. Welcome to the show that could totally kick Houdini's ass, but only because he's been dead for like 100 years. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Hi, I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are hanging out with two of my favorite people because we're gonna learn a big old fat handful, like six different ways to escape from zip ties, from duct tape, even from police-issued handcuffs. It's probably illegal, so let's start. Dude, this is freaking sweet. Hanging out with David Rowan, one of my all-time favorite, smartest magicians I know on the freaking planet. Also, you're a magician philosopher. Would that be fair to say? I love that term. That's okay, a great that's, term. Yeah. That is yours. Enjoy it. <laughs> and Adam Lyons, the dating <laughs> coach, one of the premier pickup, uh, what, 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 I, I guess, coaches? Artists, coaches. Yeah, yeah there you go. Like teach, you to, teach you to get ladies. Uh, all right, so here's the thing. A while back, we did an episode with my friend Dan Martin where we taught how to escape from police-issued handcuffs. Uh, and I believe we only taught one way. We talked about the mechanics of it. We exposed the inner workings with a clear-cut handcuff, and we showed how using a single paperclip you could actually wedge it in there, pivot it, and get this thing open here. I gotta prove that I can still do it. Wait for it. All right, wait for it. Yeah. Aha! Still got the goods. It's a great episode. All right. If you want to learn how to do it, it explains all that stuff. But recently, I was at a convention where I had my mind blown because I learned a whole bunch of all equally practical ways to escape from handcuffs, ways to escape from zip ties, ways to, ways to escape from uh, duct tape, and I just want to try them out with you guys. Bear in mind, I have very little experience with each of these, so this is going to be highly experimental, okay? All right. uh, first of all, are you guys familiar with the way a shim works on a police handcuff? Uh, vaguely. Okay. Not so, totally. uh, oh, great. <laughs> this is good. We got, we got somebody who knows, somebody who doesn't. Uh, if you look on the clear-cut handcuff, the way a cuff works is that there's a ratcheting mechanism in there, and it's astonishingly simple. All the key does is move that ratchet up and back, right? So we go like, like that and gets it in there. That's what you're doing when you do the paperclip version. You're reaching in there like a finger to lift that hook so this moves freely, right? The second way, the other way that you can escape, here, hold this for me, but is if you use a shim. Now, we, we had talked about before how we came up with this, the rogue's ring, which is a titanium ring that has a built-in shim in there. This is a different way to approach it. In this case, you're not gonna reach in to grab that arm. Instead, you're gonna split that area between the arm and the ratchets. See, I would've thought you would go in from the other way. Well, you can. Uh, the way I've always done it, though, because it's difficult to access it and come around from the other side, because you're like this. So I go in from this side, and then I get it in and I go in one click. Ah, you see, now they're separated. Yeah. So now that they're separated, I can push this all the way in and then pull this all the way out, right? So, but the problem is, is uh, some people didn't like the fact that the robes ring uh, was expensive, and it is expensive. It's a pretty sweet piece of little jewelry. So we came up with some cheaper ways. Get this, we found these. Boots. <laughs> they are my <laughs> boots. Check this out. At the end of this boot lace is what looks like just a regular aglet, but when you remove it, it is a freaking handcuff key and it's available James Bond right there, at right? all times, right? So at any time you just pop that in, you're able to do that, open and boom, like that, right? Isn't that freaking clever? That's insane. Uh, and it's fairly cheap too, but that's, okay, so we got, we got an expensive way to do James Bond crap, we got like a cheap way to do James Bond crap, but uh, there are free ways, and we already learned about the, again, if you want to build up the skill to use paper clip, you could do that, but you can actually fashion a shim using hair barrettes. Super easy, everyone right. take one. You'll notice that these are the, the super nice. cheap variety you can get at the 99 cent store. I guess this isn't technically free. It's pretty damn close though. But you'll see on these two bands that they're roughly the same size and shape as those handcuff shims. So in this case, we'll, we'll go ahead and pop off the middle and you're gonna wanna break it right at the edges here. So you're gonna end up with two bands. You're gonna wanna work the metal back and forth several times so you get a smooth, clean break. And one of the things you're gonna watch for, take a look at this. You can see that both of these broke differently. One of them broke with a nasty curve up. If you use that one, there's a chance that it's gonna get lodged inside the cuff and you're not gonna be able to get it open. The other one, though, broke fairly smooth. And if you need to, you can always flip it around and try the other side. And in fact, I would recommend, you see how it gets even thinner at this other edge? Do you wanna break it so you keep the ball at the end or no? Uh, you break it off no, that. you'll notice that it's thinnest at that, that hinge at the end. Yeah. So you wanna break it so it's thinnest 
and you, th this way you have a perfect wedge. This is a really, really good one. Take a look at this. This one came together really nicely because it tapers down to a small end. You can tell that nothing is lifting up like a finger to get stuck inside there. And again, this works exactly the way it did with the with the Rogue's Ring shim. Is you, you're gonna put it in there, you're gonna get it sliding in, just go one click in, and then once it's separated, you can totally get out, all right? So here, I want you guys to practice with this one real quick. All right. Just drop that in there, see if you can get it. And then meanwhile, I'll get this one set. Here, you go ahead and do that guy right there. So, my one's totally stuck. So you can, yeah, that's fine, use wise. Yeah. All right, so you remember, you wanna get the smaller part in, you're gonna get lined up, and now, once it's lined up, they, they, you got it, <laughs> just like that, and you're out, that's right? Incredible. All right, so Let's here's the big challenge. Primes. I need, I need <laughs> one of you guys <laughs> to do the full-on James Bond thing and, and get buckled in uh, so that you can escape. Who's it gonna be? All right, there you go, all right. Cuff them, right. cuff them, Lions. This is, if you're the one-armed man, this is how they cuff you. <laughs> <laughs> just to mock you, they're like, you're free to go. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a hole. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. Is this part of your pickup artistry? <laughs> <laughs> may or may not have used handcuffs once or twice. No charge yeah. this one, Lions. <laughs> exactly. And I suppose the exact opposite of what I should be doing is to give you that, or if you were to go Now, one. you'll notice if you're right, this will be like one, you, yeah, you could have it in your mouth, but let's say theoretically you had your you hand didn't have it in my mouth. I don't know why you would have a brand in your mouth. One might, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but let's say that you're able to remove a barrette either from your hair or from your pocket or from right. a friend, uh, and then you, you're, you're going to get it all So this is up. tough because it's on the other side, right? Yeah, you did it. So hard. I gotta... Now here's the thing. The danger is, if you go in too many clicks, you run out of the ability to go tighter. <laughs> we don't have a key. <laughs> yes. It'll, oh, you got it! Oh, yeah. 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 Good evening! <laughs> All right, here's the thing. We're going to mess around with duct tape and escape from zip ties next, but first, we gotta thank our sponsors. And by that, I mean drink. Books. Remember books? Like, they had printed words on a page, and you had to, like, physically go through the book, and you had to imagine your own version of the story. Like, I mean, that's such a pre-Netflix way of thinking about things. Like, here's a script. Make up your own story. No, man. I want professionals to tell me the story. So I'm watching movies and TV shows, Netflix originals like Arrested Development. And I'm watching them on whatever device I want, on my cell phone, on my iPad, on my Android tablets, on my freaking Kindle Fires, Nintendo Wii 360 PS3 computers. Screw books. Go to netflix.com slash scam school. Sign up, get yourself 33 days. Watch whatever you want, as much as you want. Watch all House of Cards, man, that was a great one. And then go back to these, no thanks, but you're gonna sign up because it's awesome, because it's better than books, stupid books. All right, let's talk about zip ties. Let's say you're at a concert and some kidnappers wearing uniforms decide to hold you. <laughs> Uniform <laughs> kidnappers? <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to not advocate escaping from the police here. I'm just saying, let's say somebody kidnaps yeah. you and puts you in zip ties. Now, the, the way zip ties work, of course, it's astonishingly simple. You've got uh, a little tooth that goes along the ridges. And just like you did with the handcuffs, you can use a shim. As long as you get between that tooth and the ridges, then it's just gonna slide right off. Uh, sometimes you'll have a tool for that, sometimes you won't. But I found a amazing brute force method that somebody showed me for this, and I wanna give it a try. I've only done it like once. <laughs> and I'm not sure that it'll work with these zip ties, but we're gonna give it a try. Now, because I've only tried this once, I got two varieties of zip ties. I got baby zip ties and then grown up zip ties. I'm gonna do the baby zip ties because I honestly don't know this if is, this is gonna work. When you're so kidnapping gonna play babies. Yes, right. <laughs> These are the zip ties exactly. you wanna use. Right. Uh, do me a favor, go ahead and get me locked in on this one. Not all the way tight, just started on it. There you go. And then we'll loop this through to make a kind of this thing right here. Run that through. Now to do the brute force method, the first thing you want to do is position the joints in the middle, right? So, uh, uh, oh, then it definitely got really tight just there. There we go. So you get them positioned in the same spot, and then you do, you pull it really tight. You gotta use your teeth. Like that. Yeah, like this. Them off each other, huh? So in this case, like, it's just enough that, that it's equal force all the way around my wrist. Now you had said, when we talked about this before this started, they were like, can you just twist it off? And the problem is when you do that twisting off, it puts all of the force of the zip ties onto your wrists. What you wanna do is you wanna equalize the force all the way around by making it tight like this. Uh, and then you want all the force to be on that pin. Mm. You want so much torque on the pin that the pin gives away. So it doesn't matter if the zip tie actually breaks or not. 
So to do that, again, as tight as you can. There you go. And now here's the kind of muscle man thing you're gonna do. I'm gonna back up here. You're gonna go up, get your arms above your head. You're gonna puff your chest out. You're gonna come down and strike it against your chest as hard as you can. I'll stand up for this. Here we go, you ready? It looks like some crazy Hulk stuff, right? All right, you're good, ready? I hope this works. <laughs> <laughs> and it so pops great. open. And, and you can see that there's a, there's a little bit of, uh, yeah, I don't want to say damage, but uncomfortableness on my hands. And there's no hesitation, right? You just have to go for it. Yeah. Now, as I understand it, the principle works exactly the same, either for zip ties or with duct tape. Here, let's give that a try. Do me a favor, just bind me up. Like I'm here, I'll take off this watch. I've never found it duct tape before. Just get, give it so long arm hair. It's been real. So in this case, is that enough? I don't know. You tell me. I mean, <laughs> uh, this, I've, I've, never, I've never been bounded there. That's, that's, I think that's enough. We have like five layers now. For <laughs> most of my purposes, a couple of layers is fine. Oh, God, God. I think this might be too much. I'm going to give it one more try. This is my Dennis Rogers impression. Ready? <laughs> All right. ah! Okay, so now, here's the thing. I want you guys to try it. One okay. of you has to do it with the grown-up zip ties. The other one has to do it with duct tape. Who's who? Perfect. Thank oh, you. Oh, right on. <laughs> Finally, gentlemen, I have you where I want you. There's nothing you can do to escape. <laughs> oh, that was the best moment ever. Dude, that was freaking epic. Way to go, gentlemen. Dude, freaking Adam and David absolutely killed it. By the way, I'm serious when I call David Rowan a magician philosopher. Check out some of his writings. They will blow your mind, and they're all over at david-rowan.tumblr.com. And an important side note, normally this is the part where I'd tell you that you could get the boot lace escape tool and the rogues ring over at scamstuff.com, but guess what? We're shutting down scamstuff.com for three full days as we get ready for our big Christmas blowout. I want all of you lazy bastards to take care of all of your friends at once on one day, 11, 12, 13. You're gonna be able to get the biggest discounts we've ever offered on any of this stuff. And then we're gonna say, Baxies, you only had that one day, bro. Shoulda jumped on it. So head on over to scamstuff.com on 11, 12, 13. By the way, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brianatchwood.com. Comments down below. I read all of that stuff and respond as much as I can. And don't forget to join us next week because we're going to teach you how to escape from prison using nothing but $200,000 in legal fees. Pretend I'm not here. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Dude, I, I killed the second like chef. Oh. Like that guy. I God, that couldn't have gone any better, yeah. could it? <laughs> you were really angry with that chair. Dude. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, yeah, I think that's, I think we're out.